Hey everybody, it's Tiffany Norlin, the Patio Gardeners, and uh, Tiffany, we got a request for a uh, tutorial recently. What was that? Somebody commented on one of our videos. Well, they saw that we had some uh, items growing in some recycled milk jugs, so we just wanted to show how um, you take a milk jug and turn it into a container for gardening. And what are these, what are these supplies uh, that we've got down here? Why don't you talk about what you will need? All right, so first of all, you'll need a plastic milk jug. So we have a gallon milk jug. Um, you could probably do this with a smaller, like a, a half gallon milk jug too, if you wanted to, but that wouldn't be very big and would limit kind of what you could be able to grow into it. So a gallon one would be recommended and you just want to um, wash it out when you're done with it. And then- So there should be no milk remaining, I take it. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and then you uh, need um, some scissors and an X-Acto knife or a box cutter uh, to puncture it. And then um, optionally, you can have a marker to kind of draw uh, where you want to cut. So you take your milk jug when it's all clean and everything. And um, what you want to do is cut off the top of it. How far down you cut it will um, depend on how big of an opening you want and um, also how much soil you want to uh, have in there. So I'm going to draw a line um, on the area where it goes from flat and starts curving inwards because this is where we want to cut it. And I notice it looks like you're preserving the handle. Is there any particular reason why you're you're doing that? We move our plants around so it's easier to do it by the handle. It also gives more area for there to be soil in there. Otherwise, if you cut the handle off, you're going to cut all the way down here. And then this is how much area you're going to have for soil. And so that's going to limit what you can plant in there. Yeah, how, how much room you're going to have for yep. soil. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, so then... You can take um, your box cutter or your X-Acto knife and um, carefully puncture. Carefully? Carefully puncture into here. Um, so there we have a little hole there. And then you can either cut all the way with the X-Acto knife or um, take your scissors and insert them into the hole and then cut the rest of the way around, which is a little bit easier. This is a pro tip. Yeah, because we did this before, and I think the, when we did it, we just used the um, box cutter for everything. So that goes much quicker if you do it like this. Because otherwise you're sort of just sawing with a box yep. cutter, and that's no good. And you can, if you want, you know, trim off these things or sand down the edges so that it's even, but for the purpose of this t tutorial, we just will move on. So then um, this will be the top of it but uh, we wanna make sure that we have adequate drainage for your plants. So what we're going to do is um, you can either use a drill to puncture holes or um, you can take your box cutter or your X-Acto knife and you can either um, make X's like this. So there's a little X there or um, you can try to just dig a hole into it. It's easier with the X-Acto knife to just do X's though. And so that way when you're watering your plant, um, the water will drain out the bottom. And we use the X technique on all of ours and it provides plenty of drainage if you do four all the way around. So then you'll uh, fill the inside with soil like you would normally do and then plant either your seeds or um, your little seedlings um, directly into here. Um, so this will hold slightly less than a gallon worth of soil because obviously we're cutting off the top. Um, so the best kind of plants to grow in there are herbs. Um, there's also some beans that you can grow in there. Uh, we've had a lot of su success growing dill and basil and cilantro and things like that in these size containers. You, it's not big enough to grow anything like cherry tomatoes. Um, we've grown cucumbers in there, but the plants don't do as well, so those kind of do better in bigger containers. So this is better um, for herbs, and you could probably um, put a strawberry plant in one of these um, smaller plants like that. Yeah, now I think we've decided that we aren't actually going to be using these anymore. Is that right? The only reason is because we've run out of space on our patio because um, we've just obtained so many other uh, real pots that we're just not going to use these anymore. But for a beginner or if you're just, you know, looking to put a couple things on a windowsill, this is a, a great option that uh, you can use recycling stuff you probably already have in your home.
Absolutely. Well, uh, folks, if you want to comment, I'm curious, have people had a lot of success? Have they uh, thought about doing this before? Uh, what's the most unusual thing you've grown in here? You know, we'd love to, to see any comments. Um, if you're going to try this yourself, why, why not? Please leave a comment. Uh, thank you for enjoying this tutorial, hopefully enjoying it. Uh, if you want to, you can subscribe to the Patio Gardeners for more videos like this and updates on our patio garden. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.